Ah, this is my this is my third time recording this because I realized that I had been very stupid in the past with uh, certain settings in OBS, and I, it was really the audio stuff. I thought it was just something done with the Flatpak version of OBS, but no, it was me, Axel, the idiot. Hello there, Axel here. Welcome to another Axel Tech video. It has been a while. Sorry. So today, we are talking about Axelbot. Now, most of you are probably wondering, what the hell is Axelbot? For the few of you who, who have, uh, who have maybe, been, maybe been to my streams occasionally, you may have noticed me enter certain commands into chat, and then a user shown as Axelbot would respond to things. So, in short, Axelbot is, as the title suggests, actually that should have answered that question before you even asked it. Axelbot is my custom Twitch chatbot, uh, derived from another uh, project on GitHub that's all mentioned on the Axelbot GitHub page down below. So, uh, most of the parts where Axelbot actually connects to Twitch were done from that other one, but everything else uh, other than that has pretty much been added by me. There's probably some other things I'm forgetting that, were, that are still from the original uh, thing, but... Yeah, so basically Axelbot came about as I have been learning Python, and I've been using Axelbot as like a personal project to both apply what I know and also as something I can actually use, and something I actually do use whenever I stream. So that is Axelbot. So now, you're probably wondering, what can Axelbot actually do? Axelbot cannot um, do any, like, moderation of your chat or anything. Fortunately, Twitch did introduce that auto-mod thing, and plus having actual moderators, people, doing that helps as well. So um, Axelbot can't do any of that. His, I guess technically his functionality is kind of limited, but um, for what I use him for, it's enough. So, yeah, it was um, a few months ago that I put Axelbot up on GitHub, and yeah, there's probably, I mean, there's definitely better bots out there, but it's been a fun little project and I'm glad that it's usable and can actually do things that are fun for the chat. So what can he actually do? There are a number of built-in commands, hopefully by the time this video goes up that um, I'll have the readme on GitHub updated with what he can do, but we're going to show this off here. I mean, he has a number of built-in commands. And if you're running Axelbot fresh, as in like if you just downloaded it and you're first running it, there will be an initial setup process, which you will see on screen right now. Um, you do need to create a Twitch account for your bot, and you will also need to generate an OAuth token, which is linked to in the initial setup. And then after that, you just tell him uh, or, or tell the bot what channel it's going to be monitoring. In other words, the channel that whose chat it is going to join and participate in. So that's going to be your channel if you're using it. So once you've done the initial setup, you will then be able to start using Axelbot. Now, there are a number of built-in commands such as pun. I forgot to start Axelbot. <laughs> well, so you run it with Python 3, main.py. I should also note I have only um, tested Axelbot here on Linux. I have not tested him on Windows. You are more than welcome to if you're running Windows and watching this, which most people probably are. I don't even know why I said if. A lot of people probably are. Anyway, uh, you are free to test it on Windows. I, have n I give no guarantees that it will work on Windows. Anyway, you can have him do a punt. He always starts with that one. Always. That's not the only pun in there, but he just likes to start with that one for some reason. So that's a few puns that I have in here. Most of them are based around my name. They don't have to be, but most of them, pretty much all of them have been. But they can be any puns. Um, you can also have him read back quotes. That's a great one to have on video. Uh, oh, yes, Pokemon breeding. That was a good one. So anyway, um... That's if you already have puns or quotes in the list. When you're first starting Axelbot and you try to do this, 
he'll he'll say something like sadly I don't have any to choose from try adding one with this command so for example you would do like add pun insert pun here or no um that offense was punishable what so I'm not even going to try to have him find that one with the uh, pun command because there's a bunch in there, but yeah, so you can add them this way. You can also add a quote. Let's say this is the best quote to ever quote in the history of quotable quotes. Axel 2018 demonstrating Axelbot. And then if you go through the commands, eventually the new ones will show up. If you have a bunch, obviously it'll take longer if you're trying to get a specific one to show up. But at that point, well, that is what uh, individual commands are for. The non-built-in ones that are stored in the configuration file. So, for example, I have a nightbot command. Where, he'll, where Axelbot responds with no nightbots, there's only Axelbots. I also have a potato command mostly for demonstration purposes, but I do have a potato command. Now, for working with um, adding puns, adding quotes, or adding or removing commands, Axelbot is set up so that only moderators can do those. At the moment, he has a separate, uh, separately stored mod list. He doesn't read from the mod list that you get when you do slash mods in your chat. Sometime in the future, I do want to upgrade Axelbot to where he can do that. It's going to take a little bit of reworking of some things, but I do want to do that in the future so that you don't have to have a separate list, unless you want to keep a separate list, which I guess you... I mean, I guess there, there is benefits to this way, because you could have it to where only specific people can do that, like like super mods or something. I don't know. It's, it's on the to-do list. I don't know how soon I'll be getting to that. But yeah, right now, just keep in mind, he Axelbot has his own uh, separately stored moderator list from what your actual Twitch mods are. So you would need to manually add them. So for example, it's already he's already uh, this one's already in my list. But if I try to add mod Xandrin, user is already a moderator. I can also do Del mod Xandrin, and he will remove the moderator and then add him back once again. Moderator added. So he has his own list, but it, it's pretty easy to work with just add mod or del mod. Um, all lowercase, I think that's important. <laughs> I'm not actually sure if it has to be all lowercase, but just to be safe, keep everything lowercase when you're um, doing names. Um, let's see, what else? So uh, the add mod and delete mod commands are only available to the channel owner. Uh, but since, you know, the code is open and whatnot, you can easily edit it to where any moderator can do those as well. I don't know why you would want any moderator to do that, though, because then they could remove themselves, and that would be a little awkward because they couldn't add themselves back. So maybe keep that to the channel owner. Anyway, um, same with adding and removing commands. So I demonstrated the potato command before. We can also del command potato. If you try to delete a command that does not exist, Axelbot will tell you. We can also then Add command potato. What if I told you potato? And then it'll be added again, and then we can do potato. If you try to just do a command that's not in there in general, he won't say anything to um, keep spam down, because the the individual commands like that, where he where you just type in the command and then Axelbot says something, those are available for anybody to do. So keep that in mind, but for example, you can use that for like social media links or support links, things like that. So yeah, so that, that, that works a lot like how you would get with like Nightbot, where you can just put in a command and then he'll say something. That kind of works like how Nightbot does it. At least last time I used Nightbot, I haven't actually used Nightbot in a long time because, of course, no Nightbots, there is only Axelbot. Unless you really like Nightbot, which is fair, which which is very fair. So, other than that, there's the built-in commands I already went over, adding and removing commands, 
and the commands that you add and remove. These ones where you just type a command and then he sends something in response, those are stored in the configuration file so they're not like built in. So you would need to add those in yourself, but you know, it's super easy to do. So other than that, I think that's about it for Axelbot functionality as it is right now. If you guys have any suggestions for things that I should um, add or change or just other general enhancements, you can either let me know in the comments below or you can raise an issue over on GitHub. That'd probably be the better way to do it so I can keep track of things easier, but I can also just put the issues there myself based on things that you guys let me know of in chat. So. Other than that, I think that's about it for this one. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. I feel like I'm that I, I might be, but I hope I'm not. So hopefully I'm not. But either way, till next time, this has been Axel. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you dudes in the next one.